Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the dimensions of this rectangle A, B, C, D. In other words, we are going to find the length and the width of this rectangle. And as we can see that the areas of these four smaller rectangles are given along with the area of this square at the center. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here is our very first step. Let's consider this white square in the middle, as you can see over here. And we know that the area of this square is one. And we also know the area of the square A equal to S square, where S represents each side of this square. So therefore, each side of this square is going to be 1. That means this side is going to be 1, 1, 1, and 1. And here is our next step. Let's consider this purple rectangle over here. And we want to find the dimension of this rectangle. Let me just assume that this horizontal side of this rectangle is x units and we know the area of this rectangle is 12 and here is the formula for the area of a rectangle a equal to a times b where a and b are dimensions of this rectangle let me call this side a and this side b then in that case we are going to have area in our case is 12 equal to in our case a is x isn't it so i'm going to replace a by x times b we are going to solve for b to isolate b i'm going to divide both sides by x so b this is gone this and this so b turns out to be 12 over x so that means this B side, this one is going to be 12 over X. So thus the dimensions of this purple rectangle are X and 12 over X. And if you multiply it, you can see that we're going to get 12. And here in this next step, let's consider this green rectangle. As we can see, the dimension, we are going to find the dimension the length of this side. We know this whole length from here to here is x, so this is going to be simply x minus 1, isn't it? So this is whole thing is, this purple is x, and then take away this part, so we are left with x minus 1, so I can write this part as x minus 1. And the area of this green rectangle is 14. And once again, the area of a rectangle formula is A equal to A times B. And in our case, we are, let's call this side A and this side B. And we want to find the value of B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, area is 14 equal to a in our case is x minus 1 times b and now we are going to solve for b so I'm going to divide both sides by x minus 1 and x minus 1 this is gone so we ended up with b equal to 14 divided by x minus 1 that means this side b is going to be 14 divided by x minus 1. And here is our next step. Let's consider this orange rectangle over here. And we want to find the height of this rectangle. We know that this height of this purple uh, rectangle is 12 over x. And then uh, we can add this plus 1, isn't it? So I can write this one 12 over x plus 1 is going to be a side of this 1. And here I have copied down this part right here, 12 over x plus 1. I can put 1 underneath to make it a fraction. 
let's add these two fractions by a crisscross method let's cross multiply and let's do this one so 12 times 1 is going to be 12 and whatever this sign is just put it plus the other way around let's multiply 1 time x is x divided by x time 1 at the denominator let's multiply them out that's going to give us x so that means this thing could be replaced by this simplified form 12 plus x divided by x and we know that the area of this rectangle is 17 and here is the formula for the area of the rectangle a equal to a times b let me call this side a and this side b and now we want to find these value of this side a let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case area is 17 equal to a times b in our case is 12 plus x divided by x 12 plus x divided by x and now we are going to isolate this a we want to find the a value and here i can just simply uh, multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction that is x over 12 plus x on this side and x over 12 plus x on this side these fractions they are gone so we ended up with a equal to on the top this 17 times x divided by 12 plus x so that means this side a is going to be 17 x divided by 12 plus x and here is our next step let's consider this blue rectangle we want to find the length of this side and we know that this part is this this length of this this orange rectangle is this much and then we have we are going to add plus one so i can write 17 x over 12 plus x plus one and here i have just copied this thing down right here and let's go ahead and simplify let's add these fractions i can make it fraction one over one and let's go ahead and add them by crisscross method that means we're going to cross multiply them so if we do that thing if i multiply this way it's going to give us 17 x times one is 17 x then plus sign and the other way around is going to be 12 plus x divided by these denominators this and this we are going to multiply them out that's going to be 12 plus x let's simplify on the top is going to be 18 x plus 12 divided by 12 plus x so that means this simplified form is going to be written as 18 x plus 12 divided by 12 plus x now let's find the value of the other side of this blue rectangle we know the height of this green rectangle is 14 divided by x minus 1 and then we're gonna might subtract 1 from that one that means we can write 14 divided by x minus 1 and then take away 1 and now I have copy down this part right up here and let's go ahead and simplify this thing i'm going to make this one fraction by just putting one underneath and we're going to be doing the same thing cross multiplication let's do that one that's going to give us 14 and then negative one time that's going to become negative x and negative and negative become positive one divided by one times x minus one is going to give us x minus 1 so we can write it as 15 minus x over 
x minus 1. So therefore, I can write this side over here 15 minus x over x minus 1. Now once again, let's focus on this blue rectangle and let's let me call this side a and this side b then a is going to be this much and b is going to be this much and here i have copied them down and the area of this blue rectangle is 15. now let's go ahead and apply this area of rectangle formula a equal to a times b that means we are going to multiply these two sides and equate it equal to 15 let's go ahead and write down i'm going to write down 15 minus x divided by x minus 1 times the other side is 18 x plus 12 divided by 12 plus x equal to 15. Let's focus on these denominators x minus 1 and 12 plus x and we want to remove these fractions so we are going to multiply both sides by x minus 1 times 12 plus x on this side and I'm going to multiply x minus 1 times 12 plus x on this side as well as you can see over here this x minus 1 and this x minus 1 is gone this 12 plus x and this 12 plus x is gone so we are ended up with on the left hand side 15 minus x times 18 x plus 12 equal to on the right hand side 15 times x minus 1 times 12 plus x and here are the rest of these basic algebra steps and here i just simply use a foil double distribution over here and likewise over here i did the same thing as you can see and i got this one and all these steps and then at this point i moved these all these terms on the left hand side and once i combined them i got negative 33 x squared plus 93 x plus 360 equal to zero and as we can see that we can divide these terms by negative 3 across the board to make it simple so let's go ahead and divide each and every term so we are going to get 11 x square minus 31 x minus 120 equal to 0 and this is our quadratic equation let's go ahead and solve by factoring so the possible factors are going to be x minus 5 times 11 x plus 24 equal to 0 and by the way if you are wondering how i factor these one out if you want to know more about this factoring method which is called no fuss factoring method please watch this video at the link above now as these two factors are equal to zero i can separate them i can split them x minus y equal to zero and the other one is 11x plus 24 equal to zero that means x is going to be positive five and here x is going to be negative 24 over 11 and as you can see that x is the length and the length cannot be 
negative so that means we're going to rule out this one so x equal to 5 is our only plausible solution and here is our final step so x turns out to be 5 that means this side of this purple rectangle is going to be 5 units let's go ahead and find the value of this thing by just plugging in x equal to 5 let's go ahead and do that thing so 17 times x I'm going to replace it by 5 divided by 12 plus 5 so that means 17 times 5 divided by 17 17 and 17 are gone so we got 5 so that means this also turns out to be 5 units as well so 5 plus 5 means this whole side is 10 units so thus the horizontal side of this rectangle a b c d turns out to be 10 and one more thing we want to find the total area of this rectangle a b c d and we know that this is going to be the sum the addition of all these individual these uh, areas so i can just add them up so area a is going to be equal to 14 plus 15 plus 12 plus 17 and then plus 1 if we add them up that is going to give us 59 and we also know the area of a rectangle formula a equal to a times b i am going to call this horizontal side a and this vertical side i am going to call b and i am going to find the value of b by using this formula let's go ahead and apply this thing a equal to a times b a in our case is 59 and a in our case is 10 times b we are going to find the value of b let's go ahead and divide both sides by 10 to isolate b so that means b this 10 and 10 is gone so b turns out to be 5.9 so that's the vertical side of this rectangle a b c d turns out to be 5.9 so thus the dimensions of rectangle a b c d turns out to be a 10 and 5.9 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye